Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna see about uh, rank function, dense rank, percent rank, cumulative distribution, right? So these are again other parts of your uh, uh, SQL analytical functions. Uh, just like before, we have uh, four different columns: sales reason key, sales amount, sales reason name, sales reason type, right? So now uh, let's put, let's uh, get the rank for your sales amount, right? So let's see, uh, let's say five thousand being the highest should be the first rank. Uh, 400 being the lower should be the lowest rank right so let's go ahead and try to see how we can do that so for rank function there is no argument we just call rank and use a over clause then, you know order by then I'm gonna say use my sales amount right so that's what I'm gonna rank based on right so since uh, I want my fight I, you know let's let's execute this I'll show you there's a quick trick here uh, I'm gonna call it as uh, sales sales rank right let's run that so obviously it creates a rank for rank here so 100 being the lowest it's given the first rank and 5000 being the highest it's giving the tenth rank right so uh, there is a trick here so I want let's say I wanted my uh, 5000 being 5000 should be the first rank just you know say uh, descending here that makes 5000 first rank and then 100 being the 10th 100 will be the 10th rank right let's execute that so now we have that result right so now take a look into that result 5000 rank 1 4500 rank 2 1000 rank 3 all the way take a look into the ninth, 7th column here so 7th and 8th if you see they have the same values right so it's giving 7 and 7 same rank no doubt working fine right the problem comes in the ninth row so ninth row being 150 it is giving ninth rank instead of giving it eighth it is going just uh, another num it's incrementing to another number and giving it as ninth rank right right so that's uh, that's the thing that's a problem we have with your uh, rank function um, and that's why you use your dense rank function so if you use your dense rank right similar uh, syntax right everything says as is except for the function call itself just call dense rank instead of rank right and then we'll say sales sales dense rank let's run that all right so we have a sales dense rank and sales ranks so let's compare the values here so similarly it gives rank for you know different sales amount it gives rank from one to uh, all the way until the end but the difference is here the 7 and 8 obviously 300 300 both work similar rank 7 7 ninth value if you see the dense rank it starts with the exact next number right so it starts with 8 instead of uh, 9 in case of our sales rank uh, dense rank starts at the next uh, integer which is 8 and it goes from there right which is some t some use cases we might need to use this and some other use cases uh, rank itself would be sufficient right so it depends on the use case itself um, so again obviously you can also do partition you can let's say I wanted to partition my sales based on the sales uh, reason type right so if you wanted to get the sales amounts based on the sales reason type you can always you know get the do the partition partition by sales reason type right and then I'm gonna you do the same thing as well for my dense rank right so if I do the partition what's gonna happen here is I'll show you uh, so it's basically gonna partition the sales reason type right within that within this partition what is the first uh, rank 600 that's the highest amount first rank right what is the lowest one 100 that's the lowest one right no problem and then second partition again it's going to be the other all the other categories will be second partition within the other the highest is 5000 rank 1 lowest is 150 rank 5 right so in this case since there is you know the 300 value that we had uh, in the previous example that got split in different categories so here uh, both dense and dense rank and uh, rank behaves very similar right right so that's the difference you have here um, next one what we're gonna see is percent rank how to get percent rank 
so very similar just pass your uh, percent rank uh, sorry it's percent rank pass your percent rank for function over your uh, similar variable that you had before uh, I'm just gonna take the partition for now to show you guys simply how this works as you know sales person rank right so perfect so you get your sales person person rank here uh, so if, uh, it's gonna start from your uh, you know 5000 here uh, but you know usually how it works is you should start from the lowest to uh, highest here so I'm just gonna you know uh, I'm gonna make it as ascending right so let's take a look so now it works from uh, it's gonna take the zero that's gonna be where it's gonna start it's gonna put 100 as uh, the first starting point zero and it's gonna put 5000 as the ending point and it's gonna uh, show the percent rank between 100 and 5000 right fair enough straightforward again you can use your partition by clause you can uh, and it's gonna do the uh, ranking based on that given partition right if you see so it's gonna take the first partition marketing and it's going to uh, the what is the uh, highest value is 600 right that will be 1 lowest value is 100 right that will be 0 so within this basic partition it's gonna take the highest and lowest and rank based on that right and it's gonna go to the next partition which is other and it's gonna take the lowest 150 make it 0 highest 5000 make it 1 right that's how it's gonna work um, so next one what I'm gonna do is cum uh, this is the function so very similar uh, you know syntax I'm just gonna use everything else just reuse the code again let's take the partition off and understand it without the partition then apply the partition let's call it as sales sales columns cumulative distribution right fair enough let's run it all right so all right, let me squeeze the screen a little bit okay um, all right so if you see here based on the sales amount that we have here it's gonna give you the cumulative distribution it's gonna start from zero right uh, zero is gonna be no matter what you have in your sales amount zero is gonna be a starting point and it's gonna go all the way until 5000 that's gonna be the number one right so it's gonna work uh, uh, so in a, that, that's gonna give you the cumulative distribution of your uh, sales amounts column right so um, so that's the end of the SQL analytical session that we have so all that that you need to keep in mind is basically here uh, so no matter what function you use rank dense rank person rank cumulative distribution or your lead lag doesn't matter all that matters technically is you need to use your over clause so that what that's what basically is your uh, identifier for your SQL analytical function right so that's an important piece here and then uh, you, sh yeah, you can use your order by that's a mandatory field again mandatory argument you should put your or you should order uh, your analytical function based on uh, any column right um, and then uh, you can also do a partition by obviously right uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions or let me know in your comments if you have used these functions uh, thank you guys i'll see you in a different video cheers